Okay, I just recorded this tutorial, but I didn't like how it turned out, so I'm just going to try to make this really concise. Um, so anyway, I'm going to tell you how to play, I'm going to show you how to play a button on your blouse as easy as I can make it for beginners, because this is a really good song for beginners. Um, it's only three chords, which is the C chord, um, the F chord, and then the G chord. If you already know those chords, skip this part. It's just me explaining how to do the chords. Take your um, pointer finger and put it on the second string up, and then on the first fret. Then take your middle finger and put it on the fourth string up, on the second fret. And then take your ring finger and put it on the fifth string, third fret. It should look like this, and it should sound like this. If you have any trouble, you can l look at YouTube videos or YouTube videos showing how to do it better than I can show it or look at pictures. Um, when I was learning, I liked looking at the pictures better than watching a video. Um, next is the F chord. So for me, when I'm switching, it's easier for me to do this chord. It's where I bring my middle finger down to the third string on the same fret and then take my pinky finger and I put it on the fourth string on the third fret and then I hold my pointer finger down so it gets the two strings the um, string one and string two and then should sound like that but if you want to bar, bar it um, just place your finger down hard on the first fret on all the strings make sure you have it a bit to its side where it's more bony so it has that right noise. I can never do it right, but that's it. And then G chord. There are two ways to do G chords. I have no idea which way is right, so I'll show you which one I do first, and then I'll show you the other way um, next. Take your pinky finger on the first string on the third fret, then follow it up on the next string with your ring finger on the same fret, and then take your pointer finger and put it on the fifth string second fret, Put your middle finger on the 6th string, 3rd fret, and this is how it should sound. If you don't like that, um, other people do it with the, the, their um, ring finger on the high E string or the 1st th the string, so it sounds like that. That's what the chord sounds like. So now, um, the intro consists of C, F. C and F two times, um, and then the verse consists of F and C and also G at the very end, um, and then the chorus consists of um, an F chord and a G chord and then C chord at the very end. So I'll play it really slowly and then, yep, goes like. Watch me close like a prisoner. <laughs> Only feed me bread and water. I've got one last chance to hold you. Have you seen me in my prison clothes? Have you, and then goes to a G, seen me in my F chord? Why don't you just G chord? Come around. F chord and undo another button on your blouse. These days, you know I rarely leave the house, and I hate the thought of you. I hate the thought of you missing C chord. The strumming pattern is this. Sorry. Down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, 
up, down. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, that's it. If you want to know the riff, um, it's uh, on the first and second string. For the first string, it's five, five, three. The next string, three, three, five, three, five. When I say five and three, that those are the frets. So, let's skip this. Um, and that's four times during uh, the intro and in between the chorus and the verse, the second verse, and the chorus and the third verse. And there you go. Hope I wasn't too confusing. Hope you guys. Learn something. Good job.